License and registration, please. Yeah, that's why you pulled me over. Stop! No sudden movements. I'm just getting my registration. Stay in that vehicle. I'll be right back. I just got a report about an armed robbery in this neighborhood. The suspect is a black male in his mid-20s. And he just happened to be driving a vehicle that perfectly matches the vehicle you're in. So what, you decided to pull over the first black dude that you see? Get out of the car. What? You heard me, get out of the car now. Get out of the car now. I'm telling you the truth, this car belongs to my mom. You are under arrest for suspicion in an armed robbery. We're on the same side, man. My dad is a county sheriff. Stop talking and start walking. License and registration, please. Yes, officer. May I ask why you pulled me over? Stop! No sudden movements. Re relax. I'm just getting my registration. Are there any guns or other weapons in this vehicle? No, officer. Okay, good. Nice and easy now. Why did you pull me over, officer? I'm the one asking the questions here, son. What are you doing in the neighborhood? I'm just driving to meet some friends. <laughs> Getting together with your crew, huh? What? Stay in that vehicle. I'll be right back. Dispatch, come in green here. Do you have any more information on the suspect, Ray Thomas? <sighs> okay. Am I free to go now, officer? I just got a report about an armed robbery in this neighborhood. The suspect is a black male in his mid-20s and he just happened to be driving a vehicle that perfectly matches the vehicle you're in. Wow. Yeah, wow. Is that all you have to say for yourself? A crime was committed, and lo and behold, by a black male. What a shocker. So what, you decided to pull over the first black dude that you see? Don't get cute with me. You fit the description of the suspect, this vehicle fits the description of the getaway car, and lo and behold, this vehicle is not registered to you. I'm guessing you stole this car. Bro, what? Yo, man, this is my mom's car. I'm driving it right now because mine is in the shop. I'm not buying it. You stole this vehicle to use in your robbery. No, I d I'm not a criminal. I'm a student and an entrepreneur. You are a suspect in an armed robbery. Get out of the car. What? You heard me. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car now. Officer, I'm Turn around. I'm telling you the truth. This car belongs to my mom. You are under arrest for suspicion in an armed robbery. And I'm detaining you until I get more information. Officer, please. We're, like, we're on the same side, man. My dad is a county sheriff. Stop talking and start walking. Man, this is crazy. I didn't do anything wrong. You have the right to remain silent. I highly suggest you use that right. Who's that? That's my pops. I told you my dad was a cop. <laughs> your father's right, and I'm Dirty Harry. <laughs> I don't know what your name is, but you're definitely dirty. What's going on here? Who might you be? County Sheriff. And you are? Mango Park Police Sergeant Mike Green, at your service, Sheriff. Sergeant, what is he doing in the back of your cruiser? He is a suspect in connection with an armed robbery. What kind of evidence do you have? Well, he was driving that getaway car and he looked like the suspect. Well, how can you be sure this was the car involved in the crime? His name is not on the register. He stole it. His name is Thomas, and the car belongs to a woman by the Let name- Let me guess, Loretta Johnson. Well, yes. And Loretta Johnson lives at 42 Riverside Drive in Pelican Bay. Wait, how do you know? Because that's my address. 
Loretta Johnson is my wife. And that young man you falsely arrested, that's my stepson. What? You okay, son? Hip hops. Well, but, 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 but he fits the description of, and, and the car, it, it, but this can't be. He's your stepson? Don't just stand there, release him. Yes, 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 uh, I'm, oh, yes, yes. Um, Thanks, Pops. You're welcome, son. I'm always here for you, you know that. Hey, look, go home, drive safe. I'll handle it from here. Yes, sir, I'll see you later tonight. Okay. Well, do you have anything to say in your defense, Sergeant? No, I'm not going to speak. I think I'm in deep enough. Oh, you can say that again. You know, I've heard stories about the boys in blue in this town, but I couldn't imagine anybody being this dumb. Well, I mean, no disrespect, but I, honestly made a mistake. Oh, please. You detained my son because of the color of his skin. The cops in this town have a nasty reputation of profiling innocent victims. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, you're doing your job. You're doing it poorly. And you're lazy, too. Look, did you question him or did you just arrest him on the spot? Uh, you know, there's a dozen other ways you could have handled this situation. You chose the worst option. No disrespect meant, but you're not my boss. I don't need a lecture. Yeah, that's true. I'm not your boss. But Captain James Porter is, correct? Wait, wait, wait. you know Captain Porter? And you can rest assured come Monday morning, I'm gonna let him know about our little incident today. Well, I'm, I'm sorry this ever happened, but can't we just keep this between us? Well, we could, but we won't. Yeah, you're an old dog. You can learn some new tricks. What we have to do is make sure no other innocent victims get racially profiled. Do we understand each other, Sergeant? Yes, sir, understood. And once again, mea culpa. Yes, it was. Good day, Sergeant. Green here, dispatch, yes. Ray Thomas is clean, Sergeant. Not even a parking ticket on his record. Thanks a lot. Over and out. I could have used that information 10 friggin' minutes ago.